I want to open a new file in Logic Pro. So I click on File New and that will give me Logic Pro open. I want Software Instrument Create. I want to get rid of this window, don't need that at the moment. So if I click on View and then I can hide that window. So here's my tempo at the top. I'm writing a villain light motif. So I want to make it quite slow. I want quite a steady tempo for my villain. So I'm going to have it at tempo 80. I want to turn the metronome on so that we can hear the beat as we're recording. I'm just going to leave the instrument as um, electric piano for now. I can change that at a later stage. And then I'm going to record. I'm going to record a four bar villain melody. I'm going to use lots of chromatic notes, so next door neighbor notes and some awkward leaps. So you can listen back to that and check that you're happy with it. And if you double click on it, you can see at the bottom, it brings up all the notes that you've used. So I'm going to bring that back to the beginning. Next job I need to do is I need to edit this to make sure that all of these boxes line up because you can see the notes, lots of next door neighbor notes, lots of chromatic notes. But what I want to do is make sure that the rhythm is absolutely precise. So each of these boxes shows you where the beat begins and ends. So I want every single note to be absolutely in line with the boxes. I'm just going to move this over a bit so that I can see the next section. Move this open a little bit more. Okay, I'm quite happy with this melodic line. Let's just listen back, check that it's all precise now. Now, what I want to do is I want to choose an instrument that I think is going to be really good for that. So quite often we have some quite low sounding instruments. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to go into strings and let's see what this sounds like if I change it to cellos playing this melody. That's got quite a creepy feel. Maybe I want basses instead. Let's just see what basses sounds like. You can choose what you prefer. 
Oh, remember, you need to take it back to the beginning so that you can hear it. Yep, I really like that. But what I actually want to do is I want to make it sound lower down. So I'm going to make it smaller again. And let's make that a bit bigger. So I want to move this all down to the next C below. So we're starting on that C. So what I can do, if I highlight this whole section, so I'm just gonna click and drag. I'm gonna highlight all of those notes. And now, if I click on this first note and drag it down, I've now got it all an octave lower. Let's see what that sounds like. Yes, I really like that. So now what I want to do is I want more than just the double basses to play. So I'm going to add an instrument, a software instrument. I'm going to make it cellos. So we go back over to our library again. Oh, sorry, not woodwinds. We want strings and I want cellos. And what I'm going to do, if I click on that, I'm going to Command C and then wherever this is, if I put that here, Command V, that's now pasted that in there as well. So let's see what they sound like, both lines together. So. Yeah, that sounds absolutely brilliant.